going on guys? Wow, I've got massive darkness here and I'm going to do an unboxing for you. I just got the Kickstarter pledge plus a bunch of add-ons. So we're going to do everything. we got these this Elephant expansion that was extra. i got the uh, knocking stuff over. Uh, we got the, the Black Plague crossover. So if you play Zombie Side, there's a crossover for that. Uh, i got the Elementals. This was complained about. It was grossly overcosted, And uh, we got like one of the other, I think the Cockatrice or something like that extra so we got a couple of extras and we got all of this stuff and we're gonna unbox the whole thing if I can even fit through here this thing is huge and I'm knocking everything down let's do it it is massive all right first up this box is just I mean it may be the biggest board game box I've ever seen at least the tallest uh, I think Conan was a little bit was definitely wider but it's this is also really really heavy so there's got to be a lot of cardboard and a lot of minis in here. And we're going to pull this thing. I have been waiting for this for so long, and I am so happy. All right, so inside the box, we've got our Rules and Quests book. And that's a pretty thick book. Uh, we've got some of our cardboard punch, our punch board. More punch board with treasure chests and all of that stuff. We've got our big container of miniatures, and we've got all of our tiles for laying out the board. Underneath that we've got our dice pack. I did not buy any of the extra dice packs. One of the reasons I didn't get any of the extra dice packs is that you, this is the max amount of dice you can roll. You can't roll any more than that. So unless you just want everybody to have their own individual dice or something, I just don't see the reason. Uh, and then we've got our cards here. Now some of these were um, misprinted or had like black ink on a black background so it was unreadable and that's what this the extra card, this little um, extra card pack here was for. So that's helpful. Uh, and then we've got our basically our weapon, uh, weapon cards and treasure cards and event cards. And now this right here is a pad of paper and it's a pretty thick pad and this is basically uh, for to keep track of your character so you can have so you can run a campaign if you want to do that and my understanding is you don't have to run a campaign you can also just play this you know like a single sec session a single dungeon uh, I'm not sure which is going to play better so I'll have to play through it a couple of times and kind of figure out if it's worth running a campaign there we go and we've got uh, all different pads in here for the different classes so that's pretty cool uh, let's go ahead, I'm going to put these back right now and show you the minis. And yes, that, that's the most, that's one of the best parts, right? Let's put this on top. So we're going to pull this out. Oh boy, that's a lot of minis. Wow, look at these. Look at these. Alright, so we've got our Little guys right there. Um, pretty standard Simon minis. I think they look pretty good. These are just all of our regular, regular guys. Got our heroes up here. Um, I'm actually impressed that none of these are bent. So, you know, he looks pretty good. Let's look at our wizard. No bent swords or nothing. I always seem to get some minis that have like bent components and so far oh we got a slight bending of this sword very slightly not so much there's another hero there we go all right and some more. Oh, we've got a whole nother. Hold on a second. Oh, here, look, let's look at these boards. All right, so, so kind of like what they did in uh, Black Plague. If you played Zombie Side Black Plague, you have a hardened player board now and with little punch pieces that you can put in there. That's tremendous. Oh, and we've got a hidden piece underneath for the large base monsters. I like it. Look at the size of that spider. And she's sitting on a, what is that, poop? She's sitting on some poop. She's taking a dump. I don't know what it is. Five skulls, but... Oh, we can pretend to that. I can paint it brown, right? 
Look at that, like some kind of flaming hell beast. This one's really, really impressive. Just to give you a sense of scale there, there's... This is one of our roaming Medusa monsters next to a regular mini. Very pretty. We've got this dude. And this Billy Goat looking monster. Billy Goat Gruff. Huh. Cool. And that is all the minis in the core game. Boy, getting them back in here. I don't think I am going to keep them in this type of plastic. I'm going to have to come up with some other storage solution because I'm not going to be playing this and pulling all of them out every time. No way. So I'm going to put some of this stuff away and we're going to bust into our Lightbringer pack next. Alright, the Lightbringer pack is basically all of the Kickstarter exclusives that we uh, got with this set. First thing is we have extra tiles, so crystal and lava, and this is like the missions for them. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna pull out, oh, let's pull this part out. All right. See some minis underneath there. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my good, look at this guy. He, this is the biggest mini I think I own. Look at him, he's huge. Look at my hand. Look at him in my, like, I, I can't even hold him. Oh, I can't even get my hand all the way up to, barely, barely. <gasps> this is amazing. This is why you have to back on Kickstarter, all right? Look at that one, too. That's really nice. This werebear. Oh, man, the werebear is so cool. <gasps> oh, these are so awesome. Diablo, basically. Right there. I mean, this game has actually got a lot of similar similarities to the game Diablo. These are all roaming monsters, and they're kind of like if you play Zombie Side, they're kind of like abominations. They're tougher. And uh, oh, we got the other pack here. Oh, we got Chromatus the Unicorn. This was the last one that they did. Um, this is my favorite one here because he's an ogre and he looks kind of like what my old EverQuest character looked like at least before they changed the models but all right very cool we got some more heroes we got a real big a taller hero here and and then some extra minions so not gonna go over every single minion but man this guy is the, the cream of the crop there holy crap all right so that's uh, what else is in here what else is in this pack we got our tiles Okay, so there's our, our crystal tiles and our lava tiles, and there's actually there's a lot of those, there's a lot of tiles in there. Uh, we've got some more, um, another pad for another character class, the Bone Crusher class. We've got a dice bag, um, and we've got artifact cards, and we've got all of our roaming monster cards for all the stuff that we got that came with that. So that much is cool. Impressed, impressed. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way, and we're going to start getting into the next pack. Man, these are big old minis. I love big minis. That thing is, that thing is, that Cyclops is gorgeous, man. It makes me excited for, uh, if you play Zombie Side, they had a, a Green Horde Zombie Side. And uh, Green Horde has dragons in it, and I can't wait to see the dragons when they come. All right, um, so this is the Chests and Pillars pack, and this is just 3D um, terrain, basically, for the game. And let me take a look at it. The thing is, I don't think, I, I didn't order any extras. This is just what they gave you, and I don't think I got enough uh, to... All right, well, the, these pillars are actually pretty nice looking. And the chests are all right. I think these are the layer one, level one chests and then the level two chests over here. I may end up just using tokens anyway because I don't think there's enough for, uh, you know, for some of the levels. That's why they kind of want you to buy two. All right, 
right, what are we going to do? Uh, well, let's do the Troglodytes. Troglodytes was a box that everybody got for Kickstarter and was part of the pl basic pledge. And it's an extra monster type and an extra boss type. And I think it comes with a roaming monster as well. So, oh, okay. This is nice. So, these are our Troglodytes and it comes with a Minotaur. And this Minotaur is stuck in here. We've got our cards. Can we? Oh, he's taped on the sign. We can get him untaped. Oh my goodness. They just fell all out of them. This is why I don't like this plastic, because now i got to find where each one of them goes, right? Right? No, I don't have to do that. I can just throw them all in here. I can throw them all in there. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be bad and just throw them in there. Alright, so we got our big... Look, look at the swords on these guys, man. They're they're pretty big. Some nice swords on them. They're kind of nice looking, actually. I kind of like the Troglodyte. Alright, now how do I get this Minotaur out of Oh, come on. Come on. Got him. Alright, this is the guy I want to see. He looks like ETC from uh, Heroes of the Storm and World of Warcraft. If you play Blizzard games, kind of cool. Like him. And then we got some more of our troglodyte minis. All right, let's put them in the box. I'll deal with the plastic later. Just get them in the box. All right, I'm gonna have so much cleaning up to do later. This is nuts. All right, we have the warrior priests and the spear maiden cyclops. This one was an optional buy, so I'll do that one last. I think the cockatrice. I don't know if that one or no, Lord Tusk. This guy. This guy was there. I think everybody got this guy. I'm doing the optional buys last. Okay. Alright, Sorceress and Lord Tusk. Because I wanted to get everything that had extra heroes for them. Alright, so we got our Sorcerer pad in there. We got the Sorceress uh, artifact and then a ring for that. And then we've got three heroes and one roaming monster here. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. We got it. We got it. Yes. All right. Lord, Lord Tusk is pretty big. Look at the swords he's got there. Well, that's cool. Um, we've got some of our heroes. Hero. Oh, and this little stealthy assassin. Not bad. All right. Put that away. Put that one done. Nice looking stuff so far. That Cliffbreaker Cyclops is definitely my favorite so far. All right. Uh, now it's the Noble Warrior and the Cockatrix. Cockatrix? I thought it was a Cockatrice. Well, I guess they can name their own stuff if they want, can't they? Noble Warriors versus the Cockatrix. So we got the Noble Warrior character class, the Noble Warrior standard artifacts, uh, and then the cards for the Cockatrix here. And oh, so much tape. There we go. All right, so we've got a little a dwarf. Great if you love dwarves. I think there's enough dwarves now if you wanted to play. Um, Black Plague or this with an all dwarven party, considering the two crossover so much, you could totally do that. Uh, and then here we got this elf dude, he looks pretty cool. And then the Cockatrix is so not the biggest of the minis, but uh, but the feathering is really nice, a lot of detail on that. A lot of detail. Cool, looks good. Got so much stuff. Three more boxes of minis to go. Can you believe it? Now, Warrior Priestess versus the Spear Maiden Cyclops. I think this one is the first of the optional buys, although I may have screwed it up. If you uh, or somebody you know got the base pledge only of this, uh, I think I've covered everything that they would have gotten so far. But, uh, but I don't even remember at this point. So we're just going to see. 
Warrior Priests versus the Spear Maiden Cyclops. We've got a Warrior Priest character class thing here. Uh, the artifact and then the Spear Maiden Cyclops. Oh, whoa. This thing is big. This Spear Maiden Cyclops is freaking huge. Holy crap. It's a little bit dense too, which is unfortunate, but we can fix it. Some hot water. Alright. First off, we got some character. Alright, we got some characters here. We got a lot of characters now for this game. And then we got this dude. But this thing is is nasty in size. Look, look at the there we go. Look at the size of this thing. That's huge. Let's compare it to the Cliffbreaker Cyclops I've got. They're, they're pretty big. They're about the same size. I like it. I like it. Alright. That's that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Assassins versus the Heliphant. Blood Moon Assassins versus the Heliphant. The Heliphant is basically an elephant um, from hell. And so he picks a really cool name. Alright, we're going to pop this thing open. And like everything else, we start off with a Blood Moon Assassin character class sheet. We've got the Assassin's Cloak, and then the Heliphant cards. Oh my gosh, everything fell. I just tried to pull it, and everything fell. Alright, so we have three... Oh, we got three heroes. There, there are Blood Moon Assassin heroes. Or I, think, I mean, the good thing about this game is you can pick uh, any class for any character. So you don't have to be an assassin if you don't want to. And then look at the elephant here. Dude, that's sweet. He's so nasty looking. Oh, all right, I'm gonna put that in there. Put him back in the box. Gorgeous. And now we have the elementals. Elementals that a lot of people did not get because it was like 40 bucks and you only get four minis, whereas everything else you got four or more minis for less than 40 bucks. So people were not happy about that. Uh, so we have the cards, the roaming monster cards, and then here they are. And they're kind of small. They're actually, especially compared to some of the larger monsters that you get, they're Pretty small. Some of them are smaller than some heroes. This. Wow. Alright, so we've got our Earth Elemental. Let's take a close look at the Earth Elemental. I mean, now, this one looks really cool. It looks good. He's carrying a brick wall there. He's not bad. He's little. He's not bad. Then we got our, uh, I think it's a Fire Elemental. He's like in a, some kind of Faraday cage wrapped around him or something like that. Looks cool. And then we got this, the Water Elemental, which is my favorite sculpt out of all of these. I, I really liked the way this one looked in the, in the mock-up artwork. And, I mean, the detail on his arms and stuff is just really, really good. So, I like that. Oh, ah, no, and I just broke it. No, no. The Water Elemental looks awesome. And then this Air Elemental, well, the sculpt is good. It's just really tiny. It's just like the size of a regular hero. So, that's unfortunate. Hmm. But yes, um... Those are our elementals. I'm going to put them back in the box. And I think that's all the minis, but we do have one more thing to look at. Um, the Black Plague crossover kit. So what this basically is, is it takes everything from, or all your heroes, rather, from this game and puts them into, makes cards for them to go into Black Plague. So if you like Zombie Side and you need more characters, uh, this is a one way to do it. And so we've got stuff for all of them. Our basic heroes, all the optional heroes. That's why I had to get 
Every Hero, Miriam, Point Blank, Osteria, Reaper, Melee. Uh, you know, we got all of that. Um, so pretty cool stuff. And then we have the same stuff for Black Plague, where the characters from the from um, Black Plague can come into Massive Darkness. And then we can even take some zombies from Black Plague and make them roaming monsters and stuff in Massive Darkness. Pretty cool stuff. So that is it, guys. That is all of the unboxing stuff from Massive Darkness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will probably have a little more to say on Massive Darkness here in the near future after I'm able to play through it a couple of times and give you better thoughts. But let me know what you think, uh, guys. If you Are you into Massive Darkness? Do you like Diablo? Do you like Dungeon Crawlers? Do you like cooperative games? Have you played Zombie Side? Do you like stuff like this? I mean, boy, if nothing else, you just get a ton of minis here, right? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.